This is Get Started with the I Love Success Podcast. Something that I would like to ask you that I think is very important to the people that are listening right now, what can they do? People from all over the world that will be listening and tuning into this interview, what can they do to, to make a change in their community, in their neighborhood, in their world? That's also a very good question. I think, so one of the things from moving around so much as I did from a young age, but my parents always would say, you know, I had a lot of friends and I had a lot of friends from different backgrounds. And one of my closest groups of friends from living in England, um, in that group, we've got an Indian, Pakistani, a Muslim and a Jew and a Christian. And, and we, we make, make jokes about each other and religions and backgrounds and because we can, because we're friends, because in the end of the day, who you believe in and what you believe in and what you do when you wake up in the morning, what clothes you wear, it doesn't matter. Our friendship is what matters. And we know that because I know, and, and as you know as well, you're a second generation immigrant in Sweden. I am as well. Um, and in Sweden, you can't say something about someone else because then you're considered a racist if you're from a Swedish background. But at the same time, when something isn't being done right, regardless of religion and culture, if it's not right, it's not right. Like honor killings when it, or whatever the case might be. If, 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 you know, we have a lot of immigrants coming into Sweden right now and your father, my father were immigrants that came there as well. And I think that we were, we were born into democracy. We didn't choose to be born into democracy. We just were. We were lucky enough to be born into democracy. That's why our parents left where they were, right? To, to, to be able to give us the opportunity. So who are we to say, no, you can't come and live here? Borders are invisible, right? But so if we have something that's good and you, you, you come from a place where it isn't as good, then absolutely come and live here. However, and this is what America does much better than Sweden, if you don't respect where you come to and you don't appreciate what you get when you come there, you, I'm not asking you to beg on your knees and say thank you every single day, but you have to appreciate it. And if you're saying, no, 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 let's change it to the way I lived back there. Well, you tried that before and it didn't work very well. That's why you're here in the first place. You have to be open enough to be able to talk about that. We, we have a contradiction where you can't say that that person is black or that person is Muslim or that person is Christian or Jewish, whatever it is, because that's, that's not racist. That's what you are. I'm, I'm white. I'm from another country. My friend, my... My, some of my best friends are black or Muslim or Latino or, or from Iran. It doesn't matter. But we have to be able to openly speak of what we are and who we are. There's nothing wrong with We're different. And that's the beauty in that as well. But at the same time, so what I, I would love, and this might sound crazy, but I really don't think it's that crazy, is I'd love if you're Jewish, make a, have a, uh, get to know a Muslim. If you're Muslim, get to know a Jew. Break down those all those crazy, crazy stigmas and, and uh, myths that you were to told as a child and growing up knowing it's so pathetic to say that person isn't a good person because of what they believe in. That's that's it's it's immature, it's childish to think looking at Israel and Palestine and say it's too complicated to create peace there. No, it's not. Is it complicated? Of course. But the biggest complication is that they've caused each other so much harm and so much damage that the hatred for them, that's the biggest problem. Forget the religion. Forget what they believe in, what borders are. If you respect the people that are there, and that comes from one thing and one thing only, that, the America, needs to work, that America needs to work on as well. We might not be able to change this, this generation as much as former or future, rather, generations. But the biggest thing to all of this is education. So educate yourself. And one of them is, there's a very good book. And I, I think it's called My Friend, My Enemy in, in English as well. I read it in Swedish is, is, is that, My Friend, My Enemy. It's by a Palestinian man who worked with Yasser Arafat, PLO, and an Israeli um, journalist. Um, and they came from very very different backgrounds. The Palestinian grew up with Israeli soldiers raiding his house and the Israeli grew up with someone being killed uh, close to him from a suicide bomber and they became friends. And to, to, to step out of your comfort zone um, and try to do one thing that you would never do, 
So if you're scared of jumping out of a plane, then you know what? That's going to be a goal. Just say something that you think would be impossible. Run a marathon. Create a goal for yourself that you think is impossible and then say, you know what? I'm going to do this. Do you know how many people have told me this is never going to happen when it comes to, to uh, lowering the legal drinking limit in this country? Everyone saying that you can just forget about it. But every change in this world start with one person saying, yes, we can. Um, and uh, to grow as a person, you have to get out of your comfort zone. And that's why whether it's if you tend to have be somewhat racist or believe something about someone get to know someone from that culture or that religion or that neighborhood or that world not just when it comes to religion and race but cultural as well so if 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 you think that all people that work for big corporations are assholes i don't know if you can swear in this if so you have to beep that part um then get to know someone from that world from the corporate world if you think that everyone that goes to mixed martial arts gym and has cauliflower ears uh, is a bad person then maybe you should come in and get to know someone take yourself out of your comfort zone get to meet people from from areas that you might not be that comfortable in <music>